Open Curriculum Project was a small hackathon done uh, during the uh, Wikipedia's annual conference this year and it was talking about what are the ways to sort of improve um, educational content online specifically for uh, Egypt and what I had discovered before is actually the Egyptian government uh, as you can see here has actually the entire curriculum up online in an open drive like a Microsoft's version of uh, Dropbox or Google Drive and I was thinking how do we can improve it and actually um, make it a little bit more accessible so what we've done is to download um, the files uh, like so and upload them into wiki commons and uh, in wiki commons uh, you're able to sort of upload um, the the files online and uh, from there we actually there's a site also called Wikisource and Wikisource is quite interesting because it will take the PDFs such as this science um, uh, textbook from preparatory stage one so that's like for yeah uh, secondary school first term science book and if I show you here what it does is, as you can see on your right hand side, there's the actual page from the textbook. And on the left hand side is what um, a Wikipedia user would edit. Once that is complete, you're able to see the entire book. Notice that this is still a work in progress. But essentially, once that's done, you can see here that you can actually download it as an ebook and I'll just go do that now and when I open it up you will notice that um, iBooks has has just opened it and in fact I can go scroll through the page um, one by one and this will work for anything that reads EPUB books but as you also notice here that it will also accept PDFs and you can actually get a printable version if you so choose but what that means is that you can actually take uh, curriculum books upload them into Wikisource and then continuously update them and improve them depending on the year or also depending on if there's any textual errors um, Wikisource doesn't actually care about the correctness of the content it only needs to make sure that the the content or the digital library version reflects exactly what's on the books um, which means that there's still control for the curriculum but equally you can still have discussions here for example on what do you think about the the books so that actually is quite helpful um, for also the education whether or not you believe the uh, content if the content has grammatical errors scientific errors mathematical errors um, you can have a discussion on those and actually um, have a conversation about the curriculum now it actually doesn't take much to to help so the first thing that you'd need to do is to actually download um, a curriculum so this is Marhala Liptideia so that's um, the primary school and you can actually just simply download it and that way you can upload it the second one is as you notice I haven't logged in you can log in and create an account I am just going to log in right now actually let me show you um, how to create an account you just simply go here to create an account and it's very simple you just put in a username password email address and then fill up uh, this to show that you're not a, a robot and effectively you can log in 
So I'll, I'll just do that now. So as you can see here, uh, it's asking for a media to uh, upload. So you select a media. In my case, it is the um, educational content that I mentioned before. So I'll just go through here. Yep. Open. And it'll start uploading it. Once it's uploaded, you will have to tell it what's the the rights that's being used. And if you look at this page here, it will give you the list of all the common tags. If you go down to your country or in this case Egypt, you'll find the different ones. So official so for official documents like educational textbooks or laws they have that and then you have works deemed as part of each Egypt's national folklore and so forth and I've actually done um, a book similar to that uh, recently but this is the the most important part so I'm just gonna skip ahead but once it finishes downloading you just have to describe it giving it the right categories and off you go now how do you then um, get to this stage that you actually have a digital library version of the book well it's actually pretty simple you will go here I'm just trying to an idea okay doesn't matter so effectively what you do is actually you create an index so you can see here the let me get that yeah the index uh, link essentially what you will do is whatever the name of the file is so if it's science.tr1.pdf you will go to Wikisource and just create a URL that includes index and then the name of the file. That will immediately populate um, the page that I had just shown you here. I'm just trying to open that up. And this is where you can go and start editing the, the book. Now, what about Arabic textbooks so as you know that you probably need a different keyboard well that's actually not that hard so if I go into preference down here and go to keyboard and you go to input sources you can add an Arabic uh, keyboard now the one I've used is Arabic QWERTY and for a very specific reason the Arabic QWERTY keyboard basically maps out to the um, to the English so if you look down and CNA in Arabic it's an alif um, an s is a scene and a d is a del and so forth so whatever phonetically so the uh, uh, letter sounds like you will find the Arabic equivalent uh, which is quite handy. Obviously we have 36 letters so there are some that aren't really shown but you can actually see them and you can actually um, get a list of where they match um, and you can get an idea and it's actually pretty straightforward. You can see the rest of them here. But Okay, here we are. So once you've uploaded the file oops. Just gonna close this one yeah the upload wizard so that should take in two seconds so once you've uploaded the file what you need to do I'm gonna copy this is simply 
create an index, a wiki source index with that name. And then suddenly a page like this will appear and then you will need to edit, you know, page by page every single one. And luckily there's uh, OCR, so image recognition, so it will automatically populate a page. You save the page and edit it. And once that's done, the the final results will be shown here. And as you can see, this is the content of page six. This is the content, uh, content of page seven and eight and so on. And once that's complete, uh, students are able to download them as EPUBs um, or PDFs, or in fact, just read them on Wikipedia. So, and Wikisource for that matter. So if I just look at science second year, put that in, you're actually able to find it. And in fact, if you're looking at matter construction, for example, the students will find it, um, yeah, they'll find the pages. So they'll find the page, they'll find the exact section um, that it's associated with. And that's actually quite useful. With Wikipedia, uh, one of the problems is if you go, for example, to a page on aspirin, for a young kid that just needs to know that aspirin is a, a painkiller and so forth that can help, um, when you look at the aspirin page on Wikipedia, it just talks, it gives you the chemical name for it and a whole bunch of details that maybe a child will actually have problems with it. But with this, with the curriculum, everything is tailored to their educational needs and also relevant for their courses and their classes. So this is the reason why this is very powerful and empowering. Um, so I hope this has been uh, useful and I'll provide another uh, video later on explaining how this can help. As you can see, this will need a little bit more work. Okay, thank you.